Now, just now we have learned that ester is produced when alcohol react with carboxylic acid. Now, the name of the ester produced depends on what the alcohol and uh, carboxylic acid that we use. For example, in this case, let's say we use uh, methanol eh, and ethanoic acid as the reactants. This is a structure formulas of methanol, and this is a structure of formulas of ethanoic acid. And just now we learned that uh, methanol react with carboxylic acid. Now what happened is that the OH from the carboxylic acid and H from the alcohol is removed. Okay, so let's say we remove this. Okay. So after remove, they will form water. Okay, the H and OH will form water, and then the alcohol and the carboxylic acid will join together to form a new molecule called ester. So this is the ester. The name of the ester, okay, depends on what the alcohol and carboxylic acid use. For example, if we use methanol, so this part, this part of the ester, okay, uh, is called the methyl. Methyl, okay. And uh, this part, which is from a uh, uh, carboxylic acid, the ethanoic acid, eh, is called, since it's from ethanoic acid, it's called ethanoid. Okay, ethanoid. So the name of this ester is methyl ethanoid. Methyl ethanoid. So the methyl comes from methanol and the ethanoid comes from ethanoic acid. Eh? So therefore, the ester produced is methyl. Ethanoid. If you know the alcohol and the carboxylic acid use, then we can name the ester easily by just referring to the name of the alcohol and carboxylic acid. If this is methanol, then it will produce methyl. If this is ethanol, then it will produce ethyl. If this is propanol, then it will produce propyl. Eh? Okay. And if this is methanoic acid, then it will become methanoid. If uh, it's ethanoic acid, then it will become ethanoid. If it's uh, propanoic acid, then it will become propanoid. So that's one way to name uh, ester. Okay, this table. Methanol with methanoic acid. What's the name of the ester formed? Methyl methanoid. Eh? Methyl methanoid. Okay, so methyl is from methanol, eh? and methanoid is from methanoic acid. Okay. Okay, so this is the name, eh? methyl ethanoid, ethyl propanoid, ethyl methanoid, propyl ethanoid, and propyl propanoid. So, so this is the name of the ester formed. Okay, this one, ester, the general formulas of ester is CNH2N plus 1COOC, okay, where N equals 0, 1, 2, M equals 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, okay. The functional group, eh? The functional groups of uh, ester is this, uh, COO, uh, okay? So this is a functional group, okay? And then the general formula is this. Yeah, example, uh, for example, when N equal to zero and M equal to three, let's say, okay? So when N equal to zero, uh, then the formula will become HC, uh, okay? HCOO, okay? And then when M equal to 3, yeah, then it will become C3H7. So that is uh, the ester, okay? So if N equal to 1, and let's say M equal to 2, okay? N equal to 1, then it will become CH3, yeah? CH3, yeah, because CNH2N plus 1, right? And then COO, COO, that's a functional group. And when M equal to 2, then it will become C2H5. So that is, that's how we write the formulas of ester. You need to know what's the number of N and what's the number of M. Okay, we have N and M in the molecule. So the functional group is this COO, COO. Okay, this is the functional group. Naming ester, naming ester. Now just now they give you the alcohol and carboxylic acid and then they want to tell the name, right? Okay, now sometimes they may give you the formula like this. Okay, and then they want you to tell uh, the name of the ester. Now, if they give you something like this, uh, then as I told you just now, we divide we divide this ester into two groups, right? Okay, one is from alcohol, eh? okay? Uh, another one is from uh, this uh, carboxylic acid. Uh, this is from carboxylic acid, eh? 
This from carboxylic acid. This the one with COO. Uh, okay, this is from carboxylic acid. This from carboxylic acid, and uh, this is from carboxylic acid. Okay, so to name the ester, we name the structure from alcohol first. This one CH3. Eh? CH3 is from uh, methanol. Eh? Okay, so we name this one as uh, CH3. So this CH3, the name is methyl. Methyl. Okay, and then this CH3 COO, the name is ethanoat. Ethanoat. So the name is methyl ethanoat. We name this part first, eh? methyl, and then this one is ethanoat. Eh? Okay, now for the second one, what's the name for this one? We name this one first, eh? and then after that, name this. Okay, so this C2H5 is ethyl, right? Because it has two carbons, eh? ethyl. Eh? And then this one, HCOOH, is methanoat. Okay, methanoat, eh? ethyl methanoat. Uh, how about this one? How about this one? What's the name? You must name this part first, right? Okay, this part, same as this part, uh, is methyl, right? It's methyl, eh? Okay, so methyl, one carbon eh, is methyl. And then this one, we have two and three, three carbons. Eh? Three carbon then is propanoid. Okay, uh, naming ester is very important. Eh? Okay, usually in exam, they'll ask you two things. Naming ester, okay, naming ester and the physical properties of ester. Okay, and the process, uh, and the reactions to produce ester, esterifications. This one, propyl, propyl propanoid. Propyl, propanoid. Okay, propyl propanoid. Okay, that's correct. Okay, so this one, what's the name of this ester? Remember, we this one is from carboxylic acid, rather COO. Okay. And this one we have three carbons, right? So is this is propyl, eh? This is propyl. This is methanoid. Okay. So therefore the name is propyl methanoid. Propyl methanoid. Okay. One carbon, eh? One carbon therefore is methanoid, not not ethanoid. This one, F. This one. What's the name? What's the name of this ester? Okay. So this is from the Carboxylic acid. Eh? So this one is methyl, just one carbon, methyl. And this one also one carbon, methanoid. So the name is methyl methanoid. How about this one? What's the name of this ester? Methyl propanoid. Methyl propanoid. Eh? This one? Okay, so this is uh this is ethyl ethanoid, eh? ethyl ethanoid. Okay. So you can see this COO eh? COO ethanoid is here and then this is uh, ethyl. Okay, this is ethyl. So it's ethyl ethanoid. Eh? So not methyl ethanoid. Because some, sometimes people say, oh, I see this is uh, the, this one methyl here. So it's methyl ethanoid. No. Okay, so you must know that this COO, eh? okay, this COO uh, must be in one group. And then we separate them. We separate them between this O, eh? this COO with another, uh, this uh, carbon chain. Cindy asks, uh, alcohol must come first. Yes. The structure from the alcohol must come first. Eh? This is this is the structure from alcohol. Okay? And it must come first. Ethyl. This is from ethanol, eh? Ethanol. This one. Okay? So this is ethyl propanoid. Eh? Ethyl propanoid. Faisal asked a very good question. How do you know the COO belongs to which structure? Now, when you want to separate them, you want to separate them, okay? So first, you look for the O first. Look for the O, okay? We separate them, we separate it here. This O, uh, next to O. Okay, now this O, you can see, uh, is next to these carbons and next to this carbon. This carbon, okay, these carbons uh, is, uh, belongs to this, uh, it's attached to this O, right? Okay, this O, okay. So you can see we have a COO here. Now, 
if you identify this O, okay, then you separate it here, uh, then, it's, then it's not correct, okay? Why? Because uh, you have uh, broken the COO. Now, the CO must be together, okay? You cannot have O another part and, C and CO is another part, you cannot. The COO must be together, okay? So what you do is, first you identify where is the O. Okay, the O is here, okay? And then you see, okay, now we separate here, okay? Because this one is just next to the O, huh? it's either here or here, okay? But it cannot be here because here, then so we will separate the COO, okay? So, so the COO must be together. Okay, now after we separate them, okay, then the one with COO and then you'd be a methanol, ethanol, or propanol, eh? okay? And the one with uh, just the carbon chain, okay, there will be a methyl, ethyl, propyl. This one. So you see we have an O here, right? We have an O here. So we must cut here A or B. We must separate them at A or B. B, okay? Because we separate A, then we, 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 we cut the this uh, CO uh, and O, okay? And separate them, so we cannot. Okay, then the name will be Matthew Ethanoid. Matthew Ethanoid.